of the closed culture of Zanzibar by Armenian Arabs in the early part of the 19th century transformed the island into, the, into a major importer of slaves. As this market grew in the importance in which demand for slaves from the more traditional markets in the Muslim world continuing uh, undiminished the east, east coast and its vast hinterland took on an even greater importance as a source for slaves. Many were sold as slaves in these countries and then told others were resold to traders who transported them to Turkey, Syria, Persian Gulf region, and as far as India. Sit up. To make them an object of close scrutiny might be constructed by Africans and Arabs as an artful attempt to draw attention away from the transatlantic and the shameful role that Europeans and Americans had in it. See that? That's the true history, man. That's what they hide from me. They don't tell you them Arabs had a hand in it. You see, all them nations came against us, man. We got enemies, man. And you got out, and you got two thirds of our people into that Islam stuff, and they don't even know them Arab, which we came up with that. When you go into the history of it, that that Islam is Roman Catholic Church, but uh, the founder, the founders of the Roman Catholic Church, were Israelites, not the so-called white men. But uh, going into the history of that, uh, Augustine, Saint Augustine, down there in uh, yeah, Saint Augustine, Warwick and Cathedral down there in uh, Algeria, the Roman Catholic Church that was down there in Algeria. Okay. Gone. By contrast, focusing on the Muslim-dominated trade could do very little to show up European and American in a bad light. Uh, it's uh, this day is nine and uh, eleven. They all, all, all Israel have transgressed the law, even by departing. They that they might not obey the voice thereof. I mean, therefore, the curse is upon us, and the oath which that is written in the law of Moses. Verse, uh, in verse eleven. Service of God, because we have sinned against Him, and He had confirmed His word, which He spake against us, and and I, against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven had not been done against had been done upon Jerusalem, as it is written, even in the law of Moses, all these evil is come upon us. Yet may we know. Yet, may we not our prayer before the Lord, our God, that we might turn from our iniquity and understand the truth. Uh, so, so that's why it happened to us, man. Uh, and that, and that, and that explained the word curse beautifully. Because you people think, because you hear rude speech, that's cursing. Cursing is bringing uh, bodily harm and evil and catastrophe upon someone. And that, and, that, and, that, and that scripture actually answered it. But we're going to read it. it. He answered it in that scripture. Yeah, get uh, what is that? John 26 and 72. Yeah. No, uh, no, Luke. I mean, Luke. Luke. Yeah. Peter. Yeah. 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 Uh, If I got it wrong, I don't know, man. Today, man, you know, I'm a little off for the scripture, but y'all must forgive me. It says, uh, Matthew 26, 26 and 73. It says, uh, I started 70, but he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thy says. Started 69. It says, now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came up to him, saying, Thou also was with Yahweh in Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. 
And when he had gone out unto the porch, another maid saw him and said unto him, them that they were there, this fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again, he denied with an oath, I do not know that man. Verse 73, and afterwards, a while came unto him that they stood by and said unto Peter, surely thou art one of them, for thy speech bereft, bereft, bereft thee, betrayeth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man, and immediately the cock crew. It says, And Peter remembered the word of Yahweh Shai, which said unto him, Before the cock crew, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. Well, Peter was cursed. Uh, and the Lord did him curse and swear. According to the world, according to the world, he was supposed to go to burn in hell. Well, we know there's no such thing as that. You know? But, you say, you'll sin it. Yeah, that's a sin. Why you didn't get Peter for cursing? He told Peter uh, to feed his sheep. Who wasn't he worried about that? You know? But uh, this is the Zanderman Compact Bible Dictionary. It says curse. On what page? 120. The reverse of bless on a human level to wish harm or catastrophe. This passage is often misunderstood by Western readers. The modern Western practice of cursing, i.e. using profane language, is never referred to in the scriptures. Latin, Latin profane is uh, profane, go back to profaneous, which is Latin, which is unholy outside of the temple. No. Okay? No, you finished? You finished? Uh, you read all the highlights? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you brothers can look, you brothers can, uh, yeah, uh, look at them. Look at these scriptures I got written down in there. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, Jeremiah 19 and 18, Deuteronomy 27 and 11. So that's what Israel was sending up curses, and that's what Jeremiah sent up curses on Israel. So hey, that's that. So you can send up curses. You can send up curses, but when they talk about uh, so-called curse words, the word Esau that came up with that madness. Uh, you people just being sensitive. Like the police and other people might say. You know? And uh, uh, we're going to get Psalms 83, and then we're going to close out. Psalms 83. You got it out. Psalms 83. Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not thy silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. Verse 2. For lo, thine enemy make a tumult, and they that hate thee lift up, up the head. The tumult is a, a disturbance, man. A war. A war, huh? And, that, and, that, and they doing that right now. When, uh, Esau is bringing in, uh, he's, he's bringing in, certain fashions to uh deploy martial law man on on on, on uh, america man and it's gonna mainly be going towards the negroes latinos and the native americans man the children of israel yeah to finally try to cut us off yeah try to cut us off god being a nation but he did it he did it he did it by putting all that deception out there so israel won't know who they are that's why we're going into the valley of the uh dry bones in ezekiel 37 chapter uh, israel is coming back Esau finna try to completely cut us off, man. Right. You know? And it says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Hidden ones is what? The elect. Crafty, crafty counsel. At crafty counsel, they, they making these laws, they meet each other in these silent rooms. Yeah, in the UN, and they make these, they make these unrighteous decrees like uh Isaiah 10 and 1 said, you know? But hide the history and hide the facts on who the Negro, Latino, the Native Americans are. They're not going to just put it out there in the open. They got gatekeepers in these colleges when you bring in uh, facts that's not according to their dogma or their circular reason, they shun you, man. You I, see? I, 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 uh, then, when you, even, even in those, 
like you said, when they meet in those places like the UN and they bring out these uh, different laws and decrees, when they break from there, certain one of certain of those men, they go into their secret, their own secret hiding places and they bring out more information that the masses of them people in the UN ain't gonna know about. You know? Secrets within secrets. Hydra. <laughs> it says yeah, like Hydra. First like uh Samuel Jackson said, nobody know all the secrets here. You know? And it says, they have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, that's in the Winter Soldier, Captain America, what I was talking about. Hey, yeah, I, well, you watch it, Ultron, I just got to say this because you know it's on my mind. Uh, yeah, Ultron, uh, what's that, Age of Ultron, Ultron told Captain America, he said, Captain America, you think you can survive without a war? Hey. So the thing about that is, man, they know, the lesser luminaries know America cannot survive without a war. So that's why they're going to go to World War III and they're going to be a part of it and be destroyed, man. Uh, it says, uh, it says, they, they have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Like I said, that's what they're gonna try to do with, with the common martial law, man. If you don't wanna um, accept that chip, they're gonna try to get rid of you, man. You know? And it says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. This is the United Nations, man. Under one consent. That one consent is what? That's New World Order, man. He flew up us to, uh, Nobus Odom or Nobus Odom. Nobus Odom. Oh no. It says the tabernacles of Edom, who are the so-called white men, and the Ishmaelites, who are the Arabs of Moab, who are the Chinese, and the Hagarines, who are uh their Ishmaelites. It says Gabal, which is a uh, uh like a port. And it says Ammon, which are the so-called Japanese, and Amalek, who are them uh, fake Jews, them gutter rats, and the Philistines, which are the Canaanites, with the inhabitants of Tyre. Yeah, the Philistines, Philistines are the offspring, off, off, uh, uh, branch, offspring of them, uh, uh, them Egyptians. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the Hagarines? Yeah, Hagarines. Yeah, yeah, that's them Hamites. Yeah, yeah, yeah Hagarines. No, no, Hagarines, Ishmaelites. Ishmaelites. And it's sure also is joined with them and have helped the children of Lot. Yeah, the Syrians, the Syrians, uh, assure the Syrians. God. And have helped Lot. Lot is uh, Ammon and Moab. God. It's Japanese and Chinese. God. God. It's a moment. Uh, Well, it really goes in the most high. He wants the most high to cut him off from the strong. Like I he did to got me. one more. This is Jeremiah 11 and 19. I started 18. And the Lord Yahweh have given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then thou showest me their doing. He's giving that knowledge to the elect, man. We see it. The two thirds of you people don't see it. All them nations coming against us. There's going to be a penalty for you not seeing it, man. You all, know? all them nations coming against us, and, and knowing. That they at war with us, man. And they named all the enemies, man. God. They're at war with us, and they were trying to cut them off, man. Verse 19. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew not they had devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. And let us cut off him from the land of the living that his, na his name may be no more remembered. All right. <laughs> so with that, we'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elders, right. the apostles of GMS. Salute you brothers that's pushing this truth and sincerity and the strength of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and the ones that's taking heed and walking that narrow path that's not out there teaching. Keep doing what you're doing in sincerity and search the scriptures.
Come. We was out here for the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel because when that that's demon it. came up, we didn't bring it out. And that's it only. You know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Gad, Reuben, uh, uh, Naphtali, Argentina, the Chile, Asher. We out here for uh, uh, for uh, Issachar, Zebulon, Guatemala, the Panama, Issachar, the Mexicans, the Nassau, the Cubans, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Dominican, Simeon, the Asher, Colombia, Uruguay, Naphtali, Argentina, the Chile, man. We out here for the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. With that death to America, death Gun. to two death thirds, to man. America. Death to all you damn Edomites, man. Gun. The Lord required to pass. Gun. Fucking devils, man.